I'm Dr. Robert Lazara and the doctor is in. Today's topic is atrial fibrillation. What is atrial fibrillation? It is the most common abnormal heart rhythm in the United States. Approximately two to three million people have atrial fibrillation. What it refers to is the collecting chambers of the heart, the right atrium and the left atrium. Instead of beating in concert with the pumping chambers, boom, 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 the collecting chambers, they jiggle. And every once in a while, an electrical impulse will go through, causing the pumping chamber to pump. Boom, 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 boom. So it's an irregular heartbeat. What are the symptoms of atrial fibrillation? Shortness of breath, palpitations or fluttering in the chest, dizziness. These are the most common symptoms. There are basically three types of atrial fibrillation. The early onset is called paroxysmal which means that the abnormal heart rhythm starts and stops on its own. It will then progress to persistent atrial fibrillation, whereby the abnormal heart rhythm, the AFib, will not stop unless the heart is giving an electric shock or you take some medications prescribed by your doctor. The latest stage of atrial fibrillation is called permanent or chronic, which means that regardless of taking drugs, there is no way to get it to stop, except with surgery. There have been many advances in atrial fibrillation over the past five to 10 years. If you have similar symptoms, or if you have atrial fibrillation, if you've been diagnosed with one of the types of atrial fibrillation, I encourage you to see your doctor. Perhaps there's an option whereby you can be cured or treated appropriately. I'm Dr. Robert Lazara, the doctor is in.